Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to change four winter tires for my 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. And why I have the truck on the hoist, remove all four tires out, I would like to show you guys a quick walkthrough underneath the vehicle. Uh, this tire is hand-cooked Dynaflow all season. It's doing very good on a snow like this. So it's been snow for a couple of days now in Calgary. And uh, I've been using this truck yesterday over 100 kilometers uh, going around in the city to get grocery. Yeah, I've been carrying grocery around three, 400 uh, pounds yesterday. Yeah, the truck doing good on snow. Uh, slippery road condition. It's very good uh, traction to this tire, but when I have a winter tire on, probably we have more traction and uh, doing a lot better on uh, the road like this. Yeah, um, now uh, we we'll bring it into the shop and uh, yeah, show you guys underneath. I know they see a lot of lot of snow and ice stuck inside by suspension component and stuff like that. Okay, let's get inside the shop and uh, put a snowsuit on for the lightning. Okay guys, got it up on the air, four tie off and I also did put four winter tires on four rim and uh, this is how the thread of this winter tire look like. Yeah, it's very good too. I had this on my 2021 F-150 Lariat before, the same size with this Lightning. And now let's show you guys very quick underneath. My previous, one of my previous videos is already have this um, look around on the suspension on this lightning. But this time I got the ties off, so we go again one more time, maybe you can see better. But because of it's dirty, yes, not much that we can see. So I'm not going to remove this skid plate down because there's a lot of snow. Uh, maybe uh, in the spring, I will remove this skid plate front and rear down so we can make another video so you guys so you can see better. But now you can see all this orange plug in to the battery pack. Yeah, you can see it from here. There are a lot of holes, coolant holes, heater holes up there. Yeah. Yeah, you, you guys can see the oil filter is in there. Um, yeah, the black and pinion right there. It's electric fan motor underneath this cover. When the temperature is colder, this flap in the front here it closed. Just open a little bit. Summer time is like fully open. So let's like go into the rear and show you guys. Yeah, the the right height sensor is in the rear here is covered with ice and yeah, make sure it's not frozen. Look at this massive uh, control arms right there. Yeah. Coil over shock in the rear. Yeah, you can see beside the CV action shaft there's a oil filter. Look like a regular engine oil filter that screws into that electric motor.
underneath here there's a big uh, big thick very thick skid plate and it's two big bolt that holding on in the front here yeah look at that control arm massive cable yeah very big very huge electric motor as well that's why it gave out lots of torque 775 pound feet of torque lots of power 580 horsepower Yeah, you can see motor up there, um, or you can call a, a converter on top of the electric motor. There's a lot of drifting from the snow and ice melting out yeah so now I just uh, need to put the tie on and uh, let's go out and see probably a lot of traction now not a lot of traction but a lot better than uh, all season tires um, in the springtime when I swap this tire over again to the summer I would like to take the cover out maybe I will remove some cover underneath uh, the front uh, front to see electric motor from the top and see more stuff uh, underneath that cover. Right now, it's uh, that's it for this video. Thank you, you guys, so much for watching. Let me know in the comment below what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.